Happy Sunday, everyone. Bit of a ridge starting to build up, and with that, we're only going to see clearer skies and warmer temperatures getting into the mid to even upper 90s possible. Some areas, very slight chance, but some areas could see triple digits over the next few days. Definitely starting to feel like summer and definitely is starting to build that ridge right there. You can see very well. And then it's going to build up a little bit like that. And as it goes over our area, what does that mean? Well, it's going to keep most of the storm activity, or at least the potential for it, well off to the north of our area. And with that, we're going to see some sunny skies and clearing conditions and warming conditions as well. Storm chances will return to the forecast later in the week, or at least a very slight chance, especially east of the Cascades and parts of northern California. But that high pressure really going to just build up more and more over the next few days, keeping things on the warm side of life. About 50 degrees, that is, for North Bend overnight under some mostly clear skies. Your winds a little bit on the breezy side, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Saw some gusts today around 20 to 30 miles per hour, so the potential still out there. Those winds going to die down as we get closer to midnight, and then they'll pick up once again tomorrow. Your temperature Look at Brookings, that offshore flow, the winds going from the land out to the sea, keeping things a whole lot warmer there at 81 degrees. Crescent City, though, also rather warm, 69 for Crescent City, definitely warmer than their averages, about the mid 60s as we go further to the north in the West Valleys overnight. A lot of right around the 50s or so to the mid 40s under mostly clear skies. Your winds on the lighter side with about 88 for Medford tomorrow, so definitely by about 5 to 10 degrees above averages, even 15 degrees above averages in some areas with some clear skies for your Memorial Day, shaping up to be a very nice ind day indeed with 83 for the Roseburg area. East of the Cascades, chilly overnight as we're going to lose a lot of that heat because we've got mostly clear skies as well. 39 for Klamath Falls, 38 for Lakeview, but warming right back up. Getting close to 80 degrees in some areas, definitely well above average with Clam Falls seeing about 80 degrees, 67 for Crater Lake, 76 for Lakeview. So if you got the day off, it doesn't really matter where you are. You're probably going to see the sun in our forecast area. Rogue Valley, seven day forecast, plenty more sun in the forecast and a lot of 90s on the board. Probably going to see the warmest day of the week around Tuesday or Wednesday. Your Monday, though, just getting close to 90 degrees for Memorial Day itself. A very slight chance of storms returns as early as late Wednesday, but a little more likely as we go towards Thursday and Friday of next week. Klamath Basin also seeing a very nice Memorial Day and warming temperatures to around the mid 80s with a better chance of storms compared to the West Valleys as we go towards later in the week, but still a slight chance out there. I'm going to see clouds start to build up later in the week for Northern California as well. And with that, the potential for some instability, the potential for some stormy activity towards Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Otherwise, seeing about the mid 80s to around 90 degrees for much of the week. And out on the coast, Checo effect on Monday and Tuesday and a little bit on Wednesday is going to keep Brookings quite a bit warmer. Going to get up close to around 71 degrees by Tuesday.